Aquarius, it seems that there is a component of yourself or your experience, maybe a little bit of both, that has been rejected recently for a while. Up to this point, it's been safely locked inside, safely locked inside. There is a need at this time to allow that to come forward, to be revealed in the best possible way. Time, source, is requesting that now be the time for that conflict to be solved. Beautiful souls. Hello, hello. Thank you guys so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. So if you're new here, hello, my name is Zachary. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I do go over channel messages, then we'll get into Oracle Cards and Tarot. If you're returning, hey, you guys, it's good to see you again. Pull up a chair, all y'all. So my Aquarius friends, looking at your energy here in meditation prior, there was actually a bit of a split message or uh, timing wise that that was coming through. This came through in a couple different days. The first portion that I sat down to channel your your messages at this time, I was given a shape or a symbol. I do have symbols that are are channeled through that have specific purposes. So initially this started off feeling like, okay, well, we've got a symbol. There's something, a function that's being given to you guys at this time. So as I'm drawing it out, I'm being shown it in different um, uh, positions, okay? By the end of it all, because I was focusing on, well, is this angle, that angle? How, how are we doing this? By the end of it all, the message that actually came through was to scrap all of it and that the focus was not correct. Focusing on the angles, like I said, the very specifics of drawing the shape. So the message that was coming through on that was there was a wrong focus or there is a, a wrong focus right now. Something else is being requested to be focused on. And there might be a form of avoidance that's happening. Maybe you can feel there's a need to approach this. So you're running the other direction, right? It's a very normal human behavior to, to do instinctively, okay? So continuing that message, I had a blip come through, connecting that to what came through earlier. Whatever this focus is that's going on right now, that is the wrong focus. This is a blip. This is a flash in the pan. This is inconsequential, ultimately, to the greater design of you, of what you need to do here, or what you want to do here. The next thing that came through, and this was interesting because it did take me down a rabbit hole. I have no idea. I, oh, I, I don't know anything about this area um, or didn't before, I guess, much. Burma. Burma and Burmese is what came through. So... After a little bit of Googling, it's interesting the way that this connected to the Oracle cards that came through as well. Uh, Burma is actually called Myanmar now. The name was changed back in 1989. And the reason for that is Myanmar, well, Burma is um, a name that was given for the area to highlight predominantly the, the Burman people. OK, um, it was changed in 1989 to be a more inclusive name. The interesting thing about that is Myanmar is the proper form of the word Burma, I guess. <laughs> so like you would have a, a familiar way to call somebody something versus a formal way of calling somebody something um, <laughs> like <clears throat> sir, ma'am versus hey, you. Right. So I found that interesting because. The conflict uh, was not just taken care of by this change of name, but that was that was the point of it was to help alleviate some of this pressure, the tension between the people. So making this change was like a, a, a concession of sorts, but at the same time, it wasn't really changing anything. It was just switching to a more formal form of the word. I just found this interesting, you guys. So as we're talking about... Um, something being shifted here, uh, uh, the focus being shifted, this I feel is very important. So let's get into the um, Oracle cards that came through, continue this on. So archetypes, the wild unknown archetypes, you guys got two cards here to start, the mask and the destroyer. <laughs> so this is interesting um, in connection to Burma, like I was saying, Myanmar. 
Uh, and I find that interesting because I've always known it as Burma. And I was, you know, I was born in 1988. Um, basically, since I've been alive, it's been called Myanmar. So uh, that's just interesting how that information has trickled down. Uh, maybe, maybe you know it by Burma as well. I'm not sure. So the mask, this is something that we can use either to um, put on a performance of sorts to allow us in a positive way to express the energy of the mask is to um, let it embolden us to do things that uh, maybe we wouldn't feel comfortable doing without the mask, right? The mask can also conceal something that is rejected or has been rejected. So the destroyer coming in here next, the destroyer is the rejected, is energy of the rejected. So interesting that these both came through here. It, it very much feels like there is a mask that's been put in place to hide what's been rejected inside of yourself, as I was saying. The destroyer is an energy of the rug being pulled out from underneath you. Something may be happening, may have happened, um, where there is a shock to the system, kind of tower-like energy just in the form of the surprise. I feel like at the end of the day, though, this isn't a surprise. Kind of back to, to Myanmar, um, that conflict, you know, was not coming to a head there. I don't think that was a surprise for the people there, for anyone running the government. You see what I'm saying? It was always lurking beneath the surface and was going to come up at some point to be addressed as things do. <laughs> um, especially here with Pluto. I mean, we retrograded back into Capricorn, right? <laughs> uh, but as it moves back into Aquarius here, this is a process of things that have been rejected, things that belong in the light that have been sequestered to the dark. They're coming up. They're coming up, Aquarius. And if you do feel, speaking of Capricorn, you feel encouraged to check out Capricorn. I just did their reading. Um, it was very interesting, actually. Uh, which wound came through? Maybe this is a part of what's been rejected inside yourself, too. So if you feel encouraged, I, or, you know, that aligns with you, resonates, I encourage you to take a look, okay? So the uh, next card that came through here, Blue Angel Oracle, you guys got creation. So I find this interesting. I, I do want to read from the book here. Spirit, Spirit said so, so I, I have to do that. <laughs> I read it and I was like, no, I got it. And they're like, no, you don't. So there's something specifically that needs to be said here. But creation uh, with the destroyer here, right? Back to this real quick. The book says uh, it's a quote or a thought from Picasso. Basically, creation uh, or destruction is the first step to creation. So having creation come through here, it, it feels like this is a moment, you guys, especially Pluto moving into your sign, like I said, where something needs to be destroyed. Pluto starts off illuminating what needs to go, and then it goes, right? And then it's taken if we don't allow it to be released. So it seems like this is the time for something to truly be created, something new, creation here. Something of great value is forming in your subconscious. Poetics of light, by the way. A brilliant idea is developing and will soon, soon come to light. Feel a stream of light flow through your heart and mind. This light is your true essence. Don't try to control or understand it. Just allow it to be. You will be amazed by your creation, born of a thought and nurtured by your loving heart. This creation stems from the light of the soul and will come to life through love. Be patient. Creativity thrives where there is childlike innocence and spontaneity. All unfolds at the most perfect time. There is no difference between the crea creator and creation, just as there is no difference between the ocean and its waves. Um, I, another connection, actually, to the Capricorn reading, um, there was a Blue Angel Oracle card that came through that... Um, I got an eyelash here. Um, that mentioned returning back to the ocean from the wave that you started as so that you can return as a wave once again, that cycle, that process. So again, if you feel, um, if you feel that resonates, go check out Capricorn. Okay. We do have every sign in our chart. It's just a matter of which house. So feel free to, to check out all of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's pull an animal spirit Oracle card here for you. And then we'll get into the tarot. So what do we have here? 1001, nice mirror number. What do we have here for, 
Aquarius spirit, additional messages. What does Aquarius need to know at this time? What kind of energy do they need? Oh, yes. <laughs> the wolf, or the wolf here at the bottom, excuse me. <laughs> the wolf. Um, this is definitely, I get that energy of like lone, you may be in a state of lone wolfdom, <laughs> lone wolfhood. Um, this is also an energy somebody may be struggling with allowing somebody else to be who they are. The wolf is the leader of the pack, their family kind of thing. They don't do super well with allowing other people to do something differently than what it is they want them to do. Okay. So there may be a little bit of, uh, and this feels like it could go towards you too. This could be an archetype inside of yourself that's trying to dominate or control other components of yourself keeping that that is rejected in the dark. Mm -hmm. The golden egg is what comes through here. So this is the heart chakra, everybody. This is your heart. Um, we just got done talking about in creation here too, like let this be, let this come from your heart, right? Whatever has been rejected, it wasn't rejected by your heart. The golden egg also stands for this concept of the unstruck sound. There's something that your heart, your signature, your energy signature is to express, wants to express, requires to express because it is its resonance, but it hasn't been able to up till now. I feel that there is a need to tap into this individually, Aquarius. Get yourself in meditation. Get off your ass so you can sit down on your ass <laughs> to meditate here. I think the book actually even talks about imagining, imagining this um, meditating yogi sitting inside of your heart chakra here. Go talk to them. What is the, what is the sound they're wishing to make? Hmm. Okay. Let's get into your tarot messages here. Spirit Witch deck. Yeah, I do want to use this one. You're right. Deviant Moon. I haven't pulled this out for a hot minute. So, Spirit, what are we, uh, what's going on here for Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius. And you guys, huge shout out to my channel members. Hello, hello. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, I do have three tiers offered at this moment. You can check that out. There's a join button next to the subscribe. Feel free to hit subscribe if you haven't already. There's a link in the description too if that button's not there. And I do have private readings open and available. You can check out my website in the description of this video too. I'd love to be able to help you guys out with something a little bit more specific or personal to you, okay? As this is a general message. Five of Pentacles here at the bottom. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. Five of Pentacles, there is this desire to work yourself out of isolation, the dark, something that's been sequestered, something that's been rejected. The streetwalker here <laughs> has been rejected in some way, either by someone else or by yourself. This is the component of yourself that's been rejected, and it's been seeking safe um, housing, safe passage here. It eyes the Pentacles here on the church door, and it is welcome to come inside for safety, for heat, for food. But it still has to make the chant or the choice to um, to go into the warmth here. So you guys are hoping to either find the sanctuary or to make that decision to cross the threshold into where it is safe. Yes, it very much feels like that is the, the message of the moment here. What has been rejected will not stay that way forever. Get ready. Which other deck are we using here, Spirit? Crows, yay, yay. This is a new deck here. Use it for a few, but um, my newest deck. Crow Tarot, Spirit, what do we have here for Aquarius? Additional messages. And like I said, this is a general message, you guys. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and throw the rest out the window. You don't need them, okay? Check out any other major placements in your chart as well if you'd like more information on uh, your story. We do have every sign in our chart, as I said. Just depends on which house, so feel free to watch them all. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> Pokemon. Oh, man. 
A heart so true. Oh, man. <laughs> Takes me back. <laughs> uh, eight of swords here. So this is your fear. Fear aversion. Mm. Feeling trapped. Will I ever not be trapped? I kind of get the feeling of uh, not even recognizing that you do feel trapped, maybe. But it's such a normal feeling to have something separated from yourself as an experience that's rejected um, that it doesn't even feel like you're trapped. It just feels like your reality. With the Eight of Swords coming through here, though, this is a reminder that this isn't actually the reality. This is what is being perceived. You aren't actually stuck. You aren't actually trapped. There is a way through. And I feel very much that it is, um, it could be a change of perspective too, to be honest with you, moving back to the Burma example and Myanmar. Let's get into it. So general energy here for you guys to start, Page of Pentacles. It's time to give yourself a shine up. This may take, um, it may take a little bit of craftiness, <laughs> being creative okay being creative bring being intelligent to take what is going on for you right now and to turn it in such a way change the perspective so that it's actually something beneficial to you the mask actually allows you to become free rather than trapped okay keep going um eight of cups here as well Something needing to be left behind. Having the five of pentacles here in your hope, that that being abandoned, hoping to move from where you do feel abandoned or isolated, left behind. Eight of cups here can symbolize that too. Being abandoned, being left behind. Um, or needing to walk away from something. So I do feel with the page of pentacles coming through too, there is a need to change something. What needs to be left behind here is a mindset. A perspective like I said something feels like it's missing here and it's because it's not missing it's there it's inside of you but it's not being engaged actively into your life right now outside of being suppressed so this is what there's a need for faith in the divine in the greater process of things that what is coming up the request or feeling to walk away from something or towards something is coming from a righteous place is what comes through to learn to trust that. It's not just for the sake of chaos that this message is coming through. It's for creation to begin again. Okay. Um, anything else here on the general for Aquarius, please spirit. Evaluation, feed out what doesn't serve you, reevaluate the situation. Very page of pentacles energy, like I said, taking taking something the way that it is right now and, and switching it, changing it up. Giving, giving it the old switcheroo, right, Aquarius? <laughs> okay, um, good stuff for you guys at this time. Ooh, Aquarius, very nice. The star comes through. This is you. It's you, boo-boo. Um, so very interesting too, this, cause the star used to be, um, uh, Capricorn as well. If you guys, it feels it resonates, I highly recommend, um, it was a, a message I needed to receive too. So, um, check it out. Yeah. If you, if it resonates with you, but the star here, renewed hope. Um, I don't feel, I don't feel that this is necessarily an easy process, Removing the mask, changing the mask, changing the function of the mask to allow what has been rejected to um, take its take the place that it, it deserves to be or desires to be interesting. Um, but as you tackle that task, and this feels more like a process of allowing it to be, this is already a natural part of you, natural function. It already wants to exist. It already does exist. It, it takes action to suppress it. It takes allowing it to just be. But in doing that, you are connecting yourself in such a way, you're connecting the chakras inside of yourself to the divine, which is what the star represents. We are directed by the divine. We're given 
messages and answers because we're connecting in that way. So as you are shifting these things here, you're also connecting. This is where renewed hope comes from. It's that surge of nectar from the divine. Um, a wish coming true here, though. And this feels more like 2020, your, your desire to just be you. Yeah, go check out the witch wound one, too. There's a, I feel there's a lot of applicability in this. Uh, Nine of Cups. Ooh, love this, you guys. Holy shit. That's a big energy. Nine of Cups here. So Nine of Cups is also a wish fulfilled. You have two wish fulfilled cards here, you guys. <laughs> you lucky little tykes. Um, oh, I love that for you guys. Nine of Cups is, is experiencing abundance because you know it is there for you. You deserve that. And having abundance find you because of that. This is where the the wish is being fulfilled in the in the nine of cups in this way. Interesting, you guys. I want some more on that. I want some more. Other deck. Okay. Can you give me a little bit more information here on this wish? What's up here? What's up with this wish? For Aquarius. It feels like so the nine of cups can symbolize um, whoop, like childbirth as well. Justice comes out here. It's a major balancing effect. Something that you've wanted since you were a child. It does feel like whatever's been rejected here is a component of, of you that was um, cleaved. <laughs> cleaved in twain here as, as a child, as it usually happens, okay? Things do happen as we get older too, but that's where most of... <laughs> Most of those pieces are are beaten off in the beginning, okay? So whatever this wish is, it does feel connected to your inner child here, and this is a greater balancing effect. It's, it's bringing things back into a state of fairness. Cool. Anything else there on this, please, Spirit? Release. Release grudges, wounds, and pent-up feelings through healthy activities. Mm-hmm. It feels like there is, um, this is a part of the mask story program, however you want to read that, where whatever's been rejected here that's been put away, there is now an animosity towards that component in other people. This is where I'm feeling the release grudges, wounds, pent up feelings, etc. How can that component of yourself truly come home, come home here to the heart? I mean, this is the unstruck sound, too. You may be projecting this energy of anger, of that's not acceptable, that quality in other people that has been rejected within yourself. That unstruck sound is that sound or vibration of love, of acceptance towards every component of yourself. How can that component of yourself come home and feel safe if you have not allowed a space for it to be safe? Consider it, consider it, right? So what you don't see coming here, what's in the dark at this time? Knight of Wands. What you don't see coming is getting getting back to, or getting to a place where you're willing to open the door for this rejected component to come through, to try that relationship again. The Knight of Wands can symbolize creativity, spontaneity, an explosion of energy. It's a fairly quick moving energy as well. I feel like when you um, remove the resistance, just like with many things, when you re remove the resistance, things are able to flow in the way that they're trying to flow. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. What you don't see is there is a flow. Those rejected components or that rejected component of yourself, and it could be connected to a witch wound for some of you. I think it is. I mean... Uh, that Capricorn reading, I did it did come through for Capricorn, but it also could have very well been. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of my readings here are pretty universal readings too. So what you don't see coming is um, is you coming correct, okay? <laughs> I love that. Readjusting this energy back into a healthy flow. Ace of Swords comes through to clarify that. The truth. What you don't see here in the dark or you don't see coming forward is the truth. 
the truth of this rejected component of how you may have been engaging with that component, which mask you've been wearing. Is there an energy of destruction that's moved through or is moving through your life that you've been trying to ignore? That Knight of Wands that comes through, um, I feel like this is embracing that energy too of destruction. Like Picasso was saying, destruction is the first step to creation. It's not a bad thing. Um, but a victory as well is actually coming through with the Ace of Swords. You'll get it right this time. Get it right, get it tight, Aquarius. <laughs> um, anything else here on what's in the dark for Aquarius? These spirits. 2552 as well. Ooh, a new opportunity. Insights gained from a new experience, job, or partner. And I feel like this energy comes forward, this newness, because you are choosing a new way of vibrating, a new frequency, a new resonance. You're allowing that your heart to strike a sound, to strike a chord. And this is bringing, um, whether this is a new experience, job, or partner, this is kind of connecting to the Knight of Wands here. This is that getting back up and trying. It may not be the same thing again, but maybe there was a career job that you you feel in your heart. This is a passion for you. This is what you want to do. But somebody made you feel like it wasn't for you. That could be a component that you've rejected or relationships, et cetera, okay? Something that you've been wanting to do gave a try at one point, but that portion of yourself became rejected because there was pain. This is coming back up for you to, to try again, okay? And like I said, it doesn't have to be the same partner. That's not necessarily what I mean. Just the, the act of opening the heart again, letting the heart sing again. So difficulty at this time, your obstacle, two of wands. Yeah, um, making a decision here. Two of wands is moving or getting ready. It's a pre-planning phase, essentially. Can symbolize travel. So some of you may have some sort of travel coming up. Um, but it's making yourself uncomfortable for the sake of growth. Not allowing yourself to stay. This is the decision that needs to be made. Do I stay where I'm comfortable and this is a comfort zone. It's what you're used to, not necessarily feels good. Or do I move into the unknown to where there is discomfort, potentially, for the sake of growth? To examine new horizons. Yes, growth, you guys, always. Change is the only constant. Knight of Pentacles comes through here, too. Um, this is a card of expansion. The component that's standing out to me here being in the difficulty is a need to get moving. The Knight of Pentacles can be stationary, can symbolize a need for movement. Um, that's what I'm getting from this. A need to make a decision to move, to get ready to move into the Three of Wands, which is an energy of expansion as well. Um, seems like we're at this place here, the precipice of staying still or moving into motion, getting back into that stream, into that river, where maybe well, maybe you got knocked out of your raft last time, smacked your little head on the rocks, I don't know, you know? I do feel like there's a reason why this is painful to approach. Just because there's pain doesn't mean that we shouldn't still turn the light on in that room. If anything, that's the room we should approach first, right? <laughs> um, anything else here on the obstacle for Aquarius at this time? Aquarius. Self-limiting beliefs, negative thoughts are creating a roadblock in your life. Yes. And these negative thoughts, I feel, are um, a form of protection. This is your mask. This is the mask trying to keep things, um, the rejected, hidden, okay? But what has been rejected inside of you can very well become your mask of liberty, of freedom, too. Let what has been rejected free you, because it can. It's holding the key. That's why it was 
rejected in the first place. I, I feel strongly, you guys, uh, the components where life has, has beaten things out of us or pushed things down into the dark. The reason for that is because they're, they tend to be our, our brightest forms of light or where we really connect to the divine and into divine love and consciousness. So let that mask go, put that mask down. Schmokin, <laughs> the mask, Jim Carrey. All right, I do want to pull, uh, did you want, you wanted to do star seed, that's right. So we started with blue angel. So last oracle card message here for Aquarius, and then I am going to move into an extended, you guys. Um, you can check that out in the description of this video. I do have them for sale individually, as well as on the third tier of membership, if you want access to all of them. What do we have here for Aquarius, please? Spirit, last message. Bottom, okay. The void. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The void. Avoid to avoid. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. So back to, I am actually just going to full on read this from the book. Because I don't do that anymore on these ones. But I feel like there's a little nugget here. So the void. Everything and nothing exists in the void. It's where all life begins and ends. So destroyer creation as well. The womb. It's the winter and the womb. The fertile darkness where all things originate and all seeds grow, comforting and intimidating, freeing and daunting. It can feel both overwhelmingly small and huge. The void is where faith lives. The message of the void is to surrender to the unknown, to allow the fertile darkness of nothingness to nourish the new seeds growing within you. Regardless of whether you know what they'll one day become, you'll, you're being called to surrender to the mystery of what's next to rest and to allow the winter of your life to do the work for you, to hand over your control and trust that just because you can't see what's happening beneath the surface, it doesn't mean things aren't at work. The greatest weavings happen when we find a way to surrender and trust that our life is being knitted for us right beneath the surface in ways known and unknowable. Now is the time to cultivate faith and allow deep, deep rest. The void often surfaces as the, at the end of a chapter or life phase, when we're called to let go of all that we know and identify with, when you're in the void, it can feel scary and as if you should be doing something. However, when this card appears, it's a sure sign that the most productive thing to do is relinquish control and surrender to the changing mystery of your life. How are you being called to surrender to the unknown mystery of your life? Mm. I love this. Okay, Aquarius, I love you guys too. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope that this message is helpful. And um, I'd love to hear how this resonates with you guys in the comment section. Like I said, I'll be moving into an extended. Feel free to check that out in the description of the video. Personal readings are open if you want to check out my website. And if this reading did resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel. And I truly appreciate it, you guys. I couldn't do this without you. I do also have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description of this video if you feel this resonated with you and you feel called to tip or donate. Thank you guys so, so much to those who do support the channel in that way. Aquarius, please take care of yourselves. I will see you all very, very soon. Be well.